Hi, my name is Doug, Learning Facilitator at the TGR Learning Lab in Anaheim, California. Today on STEM Unplugged, we're going to use some household items to explore surface tension through two fun activities you can try at home. Let's get started. First, gather the supplies for the first activity. We will need milk, a plate or some shallow container to hold the milk, food coloring, dish soap, a container to hold the dish soap, and a cotton swab. Once you have all your materials, set up the activity by pouring the milk onto your plate or container. Add one drop of each color of food coloring that you have to the center of the plate. Put this soap on one end of the cotton swab. Place the same end of the cotton swab with the dish soap in the center of the drops of food coloring. Observe what happened. Why do you think this happened? We will revisit this concept at the end of the video. Let's try another activity. For this experiment, you will need water, a container to hold the water, dish soap, a container to hold the dish soap, toothpicks, and some small piece of material that floats, such as plastic, styrofoam, cork, aluminum foil, or bread clips. This will be used as a small boat during our activity. Fill the container with water and gently float your boat on top of the water. Position your boat so that it is at one end of the container. Dip a toothpick in the dish soap. Place the end of the toothpick with the dish soap near your boat into the water and observe what happens. What happens if you dip the same toothpick into the water again? Let's reset by pouring out the water and refilling the container again with water and try again. Try the experiment again. It seems like it only works once. Why do you think that is so? Even though the two activities seem very different, they explore a very similar concept called surface tension. Let's think about what is similar about the two activities. For the first activity, we had the food coloring floating on top of the milk, and as soon as the dish soap came into contact with the food coloring, it dispersed. The second activity had a plastic piece floating on water, and the dish soap touching the water made the plastic move. This is due to something called surface tension. The hydrogen bonds between molecules in a liquid is stronger at the surface than the rest of the liquid. This is why some animals, like a water strider insect, can walk on water. However, something like soap, that is made of hydrogen and carbon atoms, can lower the surface tension by creating distance between the water molecules. This concept is also called hydrophobic, which means it repels water and can push water molecules away. For the first activity, because milk is mainly made of water, it has similar surface tension characteristics of water. The soap not only lowers the surface tension of the liquid, but repels the water molecules, which causes the food coloring to spread. The boat in our second activity was pushed on top of the water because the water molecules separating and being pushed away by the soap. The boat did not move multiple times, even when this soap is added to the surface, because the surface tension has already been broken for the whole container. You can further investigate the characteristics of surface tension by changing the temperature of the liquid or use different types of liquids and observe the effects onto the two activities. Thank you for watching today's STEM Unplugged video. Feel free to post your experiment on social media and be sure to tag TGR Foundation so we can share them. Have a great day and we'll see you next time on STEM Unplugged.